morning guys today is friday it is the start of tour today of taylor swift's era's tour which if you're new here i'm making about a million custom orders for people to wear on the tour so it's a very exciting day i'm really hoping to get some pictures probably not tonight i'm sure maybe i'll get tagged in like stories or stuff tonight but i'm sure people will like post their in feed posts like their little pictures and stuff tomorrow just like so excited to see it all come together and yeah we're just gonna continue working today so I've officially got two more heart dresses cut out. I just have one more pending order of it, but I'm waiting on her measurements. So that is pretty much all of them for now. But yeah, that's all ready now. And I cleaned everything back up, vacuumed all the sequins back up. So we have a nice clean slate here and it's actually noon now. So I'm probably going to take my lunch break and then we will get back to more custom orders afterwards. <music> Okay, so clearly I took my lunch break and I went back into pattern making and now I am kind of draping this because I patterned it out but then I was like, you know what, this fabric has a design to it and I want to make sure it lays in all the right places and luckily this person's measurements are nearly identical to my mannequin so I'm just gonna lay it on here. But I'm doing the reputation bodysuit, like the one that I recreated for Halloween except with the actual fabric and we're not making it a bodysuit, we're making it a romper. So I found this fabric which is pretty much identical to Taylor's and I'm trying to like lay it out the way she has it and now that I'm looking at it, I'm debating whether I did that right. Either way, I think this is looking decent. I'm gonna try to make it as seamless as possible for the pants. Obviously, like it's going to cut off and then I'll do the pant portion under it, but I'm trying to make the pattern as seamless as possible. So I was trying to figure out like how to follow the design of this. So I'll cut it out like this and then I'll just cut the waist of the pant that way as well. I also need to see if I still have the pattern to the jacket that I made for this because she would be the same size. So I could just use that pattern. Otherwise, I need to also pattern that out. But I think this is gonna be really cute. I'm really excited to be doing it with this fabric. Okay, so I guess I didn't vlog me cutting this out, but I got the front cut out. So this is like the little V shape we're going to be kind of leaning into for the bottoms. And I got the back on it as well. And I lined it up on the sides so that it's the same pattern, which you can't really tell because it's like shining too much. Kind of just want to like check some emails and figure some things out that I need to and then get back to this. We'll see. But I just, I haven't really like been active on my emails today. So I need, I want to make sure I'm catching up on everything. 4.45 right now. The concert I believe starts at 6.30 or like venue opens officially at 6.30 or whatever, but people are starting to get to the venues from what I'm seeing to like buy merch and stuff. And the daddy daughter jackets that I did, dad has been posting a couple of TikToks of his daughter in them. So I'll put them up here and it's so cute. I am obsessed with it, but I'm gonna take a little break and then I'll get back to you guys either later today or whenever I feel like vlogging next. <laughs> Good morning guys. It has been a while since I've picked up the camera and vlogged. So my updates are that we've got quite a few more custom orders kind of in the works that I don't think I've really vlogged at all. And I'm also starting on my next little collection for the fashion show that I'm hosting here on April 15th. It is currently March 22nd, so that's, you know, timeline wise. April 15th is coming up a lot sooner than I thought, but we're getting through it. I'll show you guys everything I've got going on, but the vlog 
vlogs are now gonna be a mixture of finishing up custom orders but also working on my own stuff because we need to have a healthy balance here. By the time you see this video, I don't know if it's gonna be like super close to the fashion show date. It might be honestly. So I will start by saying we finally got a sponsor for the show, which I'm so excited about. I'm working with Teleport for this fashion show and they actually reached out to me about it. I didn't know like who they were, what they do. And they reached out to me and they're such a cool company. They're essentially like a reselling app, like, you know, a Depop, a Poshmark, one of those type of apps, but integrated with kind of like TikTok and video content. It's more of a community building type of vibe and just like a really fun app to be on. And obviously, promote sustainable fashion and is centered around sustainable fashion. So it's a perfect match for us to be working together and I'm really, really excited that they reached out and that we're able to do this. So they're obviously gonna be part of the show and I'm actually doing a sustainability panel before the show because I wanted to add an educational piece since I'm doing the show for Earth Month. And Danielle, who's part of the two-person team at Teleport, is gonna be coming out to be on the panel as well, which I'm really excited about. She has a really cool background in kind of like the intersection of tech and fashion. So she was pre previously at Amazon fashion. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not gonna give a whole spiel because I'm not, I don't know her entire life story, but based on like the little bits and pieces of bio that she gave me, she kind of helped Amazon start that up. And then, you know, she left and is now doing this, which Teleport is a startup, but I think it's so cool and it has so much potential. And I'm just really excited to be working with them. So, and I just think we're gonna have a really cool panel of perspectives and stuff, which I will be filming all of it. I wanna upload it just as like a, probably like 45 minute long video of just the straight up panel in case you want to listen to it. I hope that end ends up being informative. So that's the goal. I decided to get dressed today for you guys. And by that, I mean, I switched to like a not sleeping sweatshirt and actual sweatpants instead of pajama pants. So be proud of me because I don't do this often. But yeah, I'm ready to have a productive day. I'm gonna drink my matcha and then we will get to work and I'll show you guys kind of all the pieces I've been working on. A lot of them are halfway through slash almost done. So you'll get a good sneak peek of everything. Okay. Okay, let me show you what I've been working on. So, may have started this in the last vlog. I also don't know if this vlog is mixed with another one right now or not. I can never remember how many days previously I've vlogged and whether or not that was long enough to be one vlog or whether I'm gonna like put them together. So, I don't know what's going on, but I'm making a reputation romper. So instead of the bodysuit, it's like a shorts version, like a romper, get this going. So, hold on, I'm gonna just move my camera down. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited about it. It all lined up so perfectly, which I'm also very excited about. I'm very happy with. The only thing that it's missing is the zipper, which should be coming in any day now. So that's literally the only thing I'm waiting on. It's also fully lined and ready to go. So this is what it looks like, literally just missing the zipper on the back. But I am going to just show you how well all of this lines up because look at this, this looks seamless, but there's a seam right here. And also the center front seam, I feel like you can't tell with all the sequins, but these line up perfectly. I would just like to point that out. So I'm very proud of myself for that one because lining up just like anything geometric can be so annoying, but so satisfying when you get it right. So very happy with that. Just waiting for the zipper to come in so I can finish it up, but I'm feeling good about this one. And then I'm also waiting on the fabric to do the jacket for it. I'm just gonna do like straight black se sequins without it being a design for it. So that's that. I'm also waiting for the black sequins, the same ones for another rep jacket I'm also doing that's going with the bodysuit that I did already show. I do remember doing that one, which again may have been in this same vlog before, but maybe it was the previous vlog. Like, I don't know how I'm adding these up, but I'm waiting on that. And I have since then started working on a few pieces for my collection. And what I've decided is that I don't want to make like a ready to wear collection. I don't, I don't want to be making pieces to sell right now. Just because one, I have a bunch of custom orders happening right now. So I really don't have the time to be taking in orders for my shop, but also too, I just don't think I'd be getting any orders anyway, because it's been so dry for me for the past like year on my actual shop. So I just like don't even care to put in the effort right now for that, which is like kind of sad to say, but also it's just like the reality of it. And also I just like hate having to put myself in the 
commercial mindset of just okay what's something simple enough that i can like recreate multiple times and in multiple sizes but also like maybe the tiniest bit elevated enough so that it's still something different and like but also simple enough that it's not gonna break the bank and like i always have to think about all these extra things so at the end of the day i end up with like very watered down designs of what i actually wanted to do just because of like figuring out sizing and figuring out how i'm gonna make it fast enough and like all these things and i feel like it just kills my creativity a lot so for this show i just wanted to make fun pieces that are not commercial at all they're not necessarily ready to wear and it's just whatever the heck i wanted to make but my only rule with myself for this one is that i'm not gonna buy anything new like any new fabrics the only stuff i'll be buying is obviously like zippers and things like that but as far as fabrics go i'm not gonna buy anymore so i was looking through my closet of fabrics and i have this one that is just like a mesh like a white mesh but it has a silver like little bit of glitter on this side you can tell it's like a bit of a shimmer to it um it's really beautiful i got this fabric i believe off of fab scrap or one of those secondhand places in 2020 like when i first started my brand i bought this one and i bought another one that was black that i thought was also mesh ended up not being mesh um and i was gonna make like little tops with both of them and then i never did because the black one i ordered wasn't what i expected it to be and then i had so much of this one like i literally have like whole rolls still of this and i just like never really figured out what to do with it and it just kind of sat there but I never sold it either because I was like, I don't know, it has potential. Like, I always liked it, but I just never knew when to bring it out. So I figured now would be a great time to bring it out. <laughs> so here we are. This is currently, like, inside out because I was getting ready to, like, sew it together. But it's basically just, like, a little body dress moment. I'll put a picture, actually, up here or a little video of me. I've been taking little, like, TikTok clips of me making it. I kind of draped some, like, sweetheart neckline lines up here. And then I did a little drape on this side. And I've been hand sewing these like flower appliques on them i have so many of these that i bought originally for the light up dresses i thought this was going to be the same pink as the fabric that i have for those dresses and i could use that as like the trim that i was putting around it but this ended up being slightly darker than the actual pink i had so it didn't look that good but i am dumb and didn't think about just buying one to test it out and i bought a lot because I had a lot of orders of that dress. So I'm gonna be covering this dress with a lot of these, which I'm actually really excited about. It's looking really, really pretty together already. So that's a piece that I'm currently working on. This is the other piece that I'm currently working on. So as you can see, it is a little slip dress cowl neck moment, but it is quite long. It's gonna have a slit or it has a slit up here. If you can see that it's currently basted down here. I'm doing like French theme, so it's basted like wrong sides together so don't mind that but i'm really excited about this one i've had this fabric since last summer this is one of those fabrics that i was given from the job that i had when i first moved here when they gave me literally every roll of fabric they ever had like every roll of fabric you see here that's just been sitting here for a while and over there is just stuff they gave me they're transitioning their company right now so they were getting rid of all their stuff and that's why i got so much of their stuff but this is a really beautiful silk fabric i think it was like two yards of silk it has a really pretty texture to it which i really love and it's one of those fabrics that's been sitting there and i'm just like i want to make something with it so bad but i didn't know what a couple nights ago i was like you know what let me just start draping with it and we're gonna make something out of it and it's gonna be like one piece and that's it because i literally used up all two yards to do this so i was like i need to stop thinking like oh i need to make multiples out of every piece of fabric that i have like, i'm in that headspace so often where i'm like well i need to make one as a sample and at least be able to make one more to sell but like no i'm probably not gonna sell this and that is okay i know i'm gonna get asked about it a lot and maybe i'll make it like custom to each person if they do want it but also realistically this would be an expensive dress to recreate so would i even actually get that many orders of it probably not just being realistic because it's what always happens that's another piece i'm currently working on i don't know what i want to start working on today but i'm gonna kind of look over everything and we will see i'm hopefully getting the zippers that i need today or tomorrow at the latest to finish up the romper and like start on the jackets that i need to do i guess we'll figure it out in the next clip what i decide to do <laughs> Okay, so it is a little bit later 
It is 1.40 right now. I took a lunch break in between there. And I pretty much have the skirt almost done. So I am making, I guess this is the only light up set that I'm making that's not gonna be lit up anymore because lights are not allowed in this stadium apparently. Even though I've seen videos of people with lights on at the stadium, but I don't, I don't know. Regardless, people aren't wanting to risk it. So I'm working on the skirt. I guess I should pick it up because it's not fully sewn in. I'm sewing in all of the little like details of it. That is the last finishing touch. Other than that, the skirt is like fully, fully done. Something I'm working on currently. I also want to go ahead and sew the mesh white dress that I'm making for my collection because I hadn't sewn it up last night because I hadn't switched my serger thread yet to white, but I just switched it to white for the skirt. So I'm going to just take advantage of that and get that sewn up as well well just so i can like put it together and show you guys what it looks like legitimately and then i also want to start draping some more flowers on that one as well so i wanted to get that put together so i can start putting it on the mannequin and just like placing more flowers on there I'm really in the placing flower mood today apparently because that's what i'm doing with both of these but let's do that i'm so excited to just be making like dresses that are just fun for me, I also think these dresses are gonna be fun to send to the showroom that I work with because the only gown I sent them was the three-tiered one that I showed at New York Fashion Week, which got worn a couple of times already. It actually ended up getting sold. So now I have no gowns in the showroom and clearly that's kind of been the most attractive part of it. So I really wanted to send some more just like fun pieces. So I'm excited to just make this collection, but also know that like, I'm gonna be putting it to use afterwards. It's not just gonna sit in my closet. Like I am gonna be sending it over and hopefully it'll get worn out and about without me having to necessarily like sell it. So that's kind of the idea with all of these. I'm really excited about it, but let's get this surged up and then we can start kind of draping some stuff. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for this? I am obsessed with how this is turning out. This is so just like beautiful. This fabric also just drapes very nicely. But as you can see, I like did a little bit of detailing here. I guess you can't see it that well maybe, hold on. So I did some pleating and hand sewed it all down up there. And then I hand sewed these into place. And then I also did some pleats here on the side so that it like drapes nicely. It's obviously just on one side and then over. So that is what we have. And then it's just like a long gown all the way down and then this goes all the way up. I haven't actually done the neckline or anything, but I kind of want it to stay like that. I love a good high neck, but obviously this is like a fake high neck because then it also has a sweetheart neckline here. But basically what I would like to do is take all of these little flower thingies and kind of start draping them around. So my idea with this dress, obviously it's completely transparent, but my idea with it is to put flowers everywhere that like you wouldn't want actually showing so that it's still like a fully transparent dress, but you wouldn't have to wear anything under necessarily so obviously with this like this pretty much covers your nipples so you wouldn't have to like wear something like if you just wear pasties it would look pretty natural so that's the idea there and then I want to add some here kind of going along this way and then also on the back is kind of the idea so that it can still be worn transparently without like a slip or anything under but obviously it's still like covered I kind of want to play with that fine line a bit and a lot of the fabrics that I'm using are kind of just like very transparent or very light so I kind of just want to keep with that theme which is also funny because i feel like that's been very popular lately just like in trends and stuff for people wearing a lot of mesh a lot of just transparent fabrics but i've literally had this fabric for so long it's just sat there waiting for the perfect moment and i figured now is that perfect moment so i am excited to play around with it a bit i'm gonna just literally pin some stuff around and kind of just play with it and see what we like. And if we find something we like, then we will hand sew it down. But I kind of just want to mess around a bit. <laughs> for two different reasons. One, I am actually, I'm kind of unsure how I feel about this right now. I think it's one of those that just like looks better on a body than it will on a mannequin because it just like, you don't get the same effect because 
it's not like a skin color under it so i want to like really see what it would look like on a person but last night i did try it on just with like this top part and i love the way it looks so i think i am gonna like it when it actually is on a person this is what it looks like so i wanted the boobs covered and then i kind of wanted it to come with the drape of the fabric just like downwards and kind of just like fizzle out out here and then same with the back i brought some up here too because i thought that would be really pretty detailing to the back and then again covering the butt and kind of going a little bit further down i still have a few more flower appliques but i'm gonna use it for this little chunk here that it's just like the skirt kind of goes out a bit here so i couldn't like stick it directly to the mannequin if that makes sense so i'm gonna leave those for that and i'm just gonna be hand sewing all of these in place but secondly okay um i have been emailing so many people at this point it feels like hundreds it d definitely isn't hundreds maybe like 50 max but i have emailed so many people looking for sponsorships for this show i'm like you know i've done new york fashion week at this point so i know i'm capable of putting on a good show and i feel like i have proof of that now so i was like you know what i feel good about asking people to sponsor the show because i just i feel good about how it's gonna be and the one that i thought would be easiest to get would be a drink sponsor you would think that'd be the easiest thing to get because i'm not asking them for like money for the show or anything i'm literally just asking them to send me drinks which like for a company to send product isn't like the most expensive thing for them like it you know it's not that crazy of a thing especially because it's not a crazy big event like the maximum the place can hold is 150 people but keep in mind some people are like models and people working so it's not like everybody's gonna be drinking you know what i mean like it's just i don't know it's not as big of an event comparatively to other events so i'm like you thought you would think that would be the easiest thing to get and i emailed every single drink brand you could possibly think of if you're thinking of one i probably emailed them and i finally finally got somebody to say yes so we officially have a drink sponsor i'm so excited because i really wanted a drink sponsor and then just like a general sponsor and we finally have both because teleport is our general sponsor which i'm very excited about and so grateful for that they're helping you know just put on this whole show because it is so expensive to put on a whole show it's a little more expensive this time around too than it was for new york fashion week just because the venue that i have doesn't include any furniture at all like they don't have chairs racks and stuff like the one in new york did so i have to pay for that rental as well like rental for all the chairs all the clothing racks mics like everything we need separately so it's just a little more expensive than i anticipated so i'm just like so grateful that those are extra expenses i don't have to think about i'm just so excited it's gonna be so good so that just made my day because i've been literally emailing so many people it feels like and nobody has gotten back to me until now so that being said um owls brew is gonna be our sponsor which i'm very excited about they're a hard tea company they actually reached out to me because they wanted to send me drinks just like personally as like a creator and i reached back out and i was like i mean i'd love to but i was like also i do have this opportunity in case you guys want to collaborate on that it would be really cool they're a woman-owned business and they're environmentally conscious obviously their drinks come in cans which is the most sustainable way to like hand out single use drinks or single drinks just because it's more easily recyclable than anything else i am just so grateful that they said yes like i oh this just makes me feel so much more legit because i was getting into a headspace where i was like everybody's saying no to me i'm not a good enough creator or i don't seem like a good enough creator or i don't seem knowledgeable in my field or whatever like i was just getting in my head about i'm not good enough for any of this and this is why everybody keeps rejecting me because I'm friends with so many creators and so many creators that are much bigger than me and stuff and so many of them were like oh you could easily get like drink sponsors you could easily like talk to this company and I talked to all those companies and it was a no for me so I'm just like it made me feel so bad about myself because I just like wasn't able to get anything and it's like am I do I need to prove myself more like do I not have enough credentials like what do they not see in me kind of thing which I know it doesn't necessarily have to do with me obviously a lot of the companies I'm reaching out to as well they are in the sustainability space they probably do have a lot of events already for earth month so it's a busy time of year regardless but I'm just so grateful I'm so thankful so we've got that secured we've got this going for us i don't know what i want to do next i think i'm just gonna hop on my emails for a bit because i need to kind of sort some stuff out with that but fashion show is coming together <laughs>